It's another quiet Monday night at Snor Command Center. But on July 10th at 6 p.m., it receives a call about a side-by-side -side that flew over a dune and landed headfirst into a large bowl at the top of Amagosa Sand Dunes Big Dune area, which ended up damaging its control arm. The side-by-side -side needs to be towed out and trailered. An active alert is sent out immediately notifying Snor volunteers of the situation. Members responded and form a special group to tackle this technical dune recovery of the side-by-side. -side. The Snor team formulates a plan to include trucks, trailers, smaller 4x4s, and a four-seat razor to better access the dunes. Snor members at locations across the valley load recovery gear and set off to the designated meeting place just outside the dune area. Upon arrival, members quickly realize that their keeps Broncos and Toyotas are no match for these large dunes. There's more sand here than there is in the movie Doom. This recovery is going to require some unique efforts and planning to be successful. After searching what members thought was every hill, dune, valley, and bowl, the team didn't find the vehicle. I found it. The silent radios. One ambitious volunteer walked several hundred yards to the top of the highest dune and spotted it in the bowl below. Checking with their GPS, members moved all recovery vehicles towards that location, leaving the larger vehicles behind as they cannot traverse farther up the dunes. As darkness sets in, the team arrives at the bowl hiding their broken treasure. No immediate damage is visible, however, a look around the right side quickly reveals a front drive shaft has been pulled out along with broken ball joints on the control arms. The only thing holding this wheel on at this point is the tie rod. The team removes the tie rod allowing the loose wheel to be removed and fastened to the back of the side by side for extraction. Vise grips were attached to the broken brake line to allow braking while traveling down the dunes should it be needed. The team begins prepping the broken side by side to be, well not told, but dragged across the sand to the base camp. Prepped and ready for its journey, it was linked to another side by side with a kinetic rope to allow for a smoother, bungee cord like drag. The Snore team, before trying to pull it out, decides to give it a shot and just drive it out. A simple solution. This is Snore working the problem, coming up with the best way. So, they tried to see if we can drive it down there with just three tires. Sounds a little funny, but that's the situation is super deep and we're not able to drive it. We're not able to bring the trailer. First, let's go. Okay, keep going! That was, that was summertime! Keep going! A valid attempt, but got nowhere, so Snore is back to the original plan. The team's hard work and effort speaks for themselves. Sounds good. All snore personnel and vehicles are back on flat ground prepping the side-by-side -side to be towed out. Another great recovery, successful recovery by the snore volunteers. This is Old Man Jeeping speaking for the off-road community. Snore, we're glad you're here.